What's going on everyone? This is Cadman Cycling. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. We are back in Paris today. This is the Dirt Datterdays Chase Race. It's an early Saturday morning race. It's 7 a.m. local time. Not exactly sure what I was thinking. That's pretty early for me. <laughs> I'm not exactly an early riser, but I was feeling all right Friday. I uh, got to bed early, decided to join this race in the morning. So we'll see how it goes. Kind of rolled out of bed. Decided to give it a go. It's a large group um, and it's a chase race. So I'm a category C rider and I start with all category C riders kind of at the same time. But for those who haven't done chase races before, uh, I think they're some of the most interesting races on Zwift just because they include all categories, but they do it fairly. Um, so these categories are sent off at different times. Uh, for example, the category D riders were sent off five minutes before the category C riders, and then B was three minutes later, and then A was three minutes after that, I believe. So the lower category riders uh, get a head start, but essentially we're all racing towards the same finish line. So ideally, everyone should get to the finish line at the same time, uh, but it actually makes for some interesting strategy throughout the race. Uh, you're kind of teammates with the rest of your category riders for the majority of the race and then if you do make the selection into the final group then you kind of immediately become i won't say enemies but competitors with them uh, you're racing against them to try to get the win so the goal at the start is keep the pace high uh, we don't want anyone going off the front too fast because the bigger a group we have at the front the faster this group will move together. Uh, our first goal is to get category C to the line before any of the other categories. So ideally no one's making any tough efforts off the front, but ideally we have a large group that's able to hang on. Um, a lot of times, I haven't done a whole lot of these chase races, but you see the B and C categories do better than A and D generally, and that's solely because they have more riders. And what that generally means is more riders, bigger draft, uh, moving faster. So that's the goal for the majority of the race. It's a total of four laps. Uh, we're in Paris going around the Champs-Élysées. Uh, four laps for a total of about 30 kilometers. So it's 30 kilometers, 334 meters of ele elevation gain in total, which isn't a whole lot. Uh, I'm sure most of you know this course, but there's a little kind of down under the bridge. Actually, we're getting to it right here. You go below a bridge and then right back up. Uh, but other than that, it's relatively flat. Uh, there's a few risers, but not a whole lot of elevation gain. Definitely conducive to a pretty fast race. And that's exactly what I'm feeling right now. Um, so I got up early, kind of rolled out of bed. Not a whole lot of energy, <laughs> but it feels like a fast pace, uh, so my heart rate isn't that high yet, uh, but I'm feeling it in the legs, two kilometers in. But again, just trying to stay in the middle of this group as long as I can, as I went ahead and skipped forward. So now we're still on lap one, there is a bit of a lead in, uh, but we're nine and a half kilometers in now, still with the same big group. So. 46 category C riders, uh, I think there were maybe over a hundred total riders in this race. It was fun. Uh, dirt seems to be a pretty big community. I like these weekend races, a good way to start the weekend off. But at this point, I'm starting to feel it in the legs. So still a big group at the front. I'm sitting around 25th wheel, but I find myself starting to, to drop off pretty easily. Uh, the pace definitely seemed high. I felt like I had to keep over 200 watts to stay in the group. Uh, whenever I hit around 200 watts, I kind of fell my, found myself falling off the back. Uh, so definitely starting to feel it in the legs. 10 kilometers in now, about a third of the way. Um, still just putting in as much effort as I can. But it's kind of at this point where I realize I'm not able to stay with the group. Um, this wasn't exactly accidental here as I kind of fall off the the back of this group. Uh, I put in a little bit of an effort to try to stay on. Uh, I was around 185 watts, was falling off the back, put in 400 watts. Uh, legs just weren't quite feeling it. So I catch back on 
Uh, but now the heart rate's up at 190. That's definitely not sustainable for uh, two thirds of the race, being only 10 kilometers in. So rather than kind of just hanging off the back, I end up shutting it down a little bit. Um, let that group go away, which essentially that's the end of the race for me. Um, these chase races, you really need to stay with that front group, that large front group in your category. Um, and those are the groups that kind of will make it to the finish and will battle against the other categories. So unfortunately I didn't quite have it today. Um, so I, I kind of dropped back. Now I'm looking at the C categories away. I'm looking at the screen on the top right. I see the, the front group of B's coming up towards me. So I'm starting to think um, I can maybe at least catch on with this group and see how, how long I can ride with them. Again, I know I'm not winning this race today, but anything to improve the time, see if I can stick with this group of B's just to kind of see where I stack up. Uh, I want to give it everything I have. So as they start to get to me, I'll immediately bring up the power. I was at 260 watts and now I'm down to zero as all of these category B riders just fly by me. It was actually awful timing. I was trying to um, kind of get up into a higher gear as they were coming up and increase the wattage and my chain actually fell off of my bike. Um, so I got dropped <laughs> and then uh, tried to catch on this group of bees and my chain fell off. So right now I'm probably off the bike actually <laughs> trying to get the chain back on the ring uh, before I can start again. So kind of a, an early Saturday morning race that ended up turning into just a good workout. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, not every day is your day for racing. I still had a great time. This was a fun group to be a part of. Um, didn't contest the win at the end, but still had a great time. It's still a good start to the weekend. Um, you don't have to win races, finish with the front group to have a good time on Zwift. Um, it's all about the community. And again, I kind of find myself with a, a little group here to make the fun or to make the end a little bit more fun. Uh, I think there's two other C's here and then we have one B rider who's uh, caught on to us and we're actually trying to catch up to him or her right now, seeing if we can contest the finish, but not the ideal race, but can still have fun here. Uh, so still kind of thinking about the same sprint tactics. I have an arrow power up here. I want to keep it uh, towards the end for the final sprint if I can. Um, again, just want to be back wheel, see how long they'll, they'll pull me until about uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 kilometers. Again, this isn't a full group sprint. Uh, if it was a bigger group sprint, I may be looking at going earlier uh, just because the pace is faster. There's a better chance that there's someone in that group that's going to try to go early. But because it's just four of us in total, can be a little bit more reactive. So kind of just hanging out on the back, enjoying the draft. Heart rate's at 187. Again, kind of average, if not a little bit below average for the end of a race. But that's because I'm not in the front group. I haven't exactly been pushing it my hardest. Uh, kind of been enjoying the ride, getting my workout in for the, the last 30 minutes maybe. We're about 52 minutes into this race. So half a kilometer left. I was exactly where I want to be, but the, the B rider now starts to make a dig. We kind of lose the draft, but there's still two other guys that it looks like the guy in front of me is starting to make an effort. So he brings me part of the way back. Then I realize with about 280 meters that uh, if I want to catch the B rider, I'm going to have to start putting in an effort on my own. So I break the arrow boost. Uh, I start my sprint a little bit early, but it was kind of a fake sprint. I was kind of going halfway for the start, then put the dig in up over 800 watts and was able to finish in front of the group. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, didn't contest the finish on this one, but can't always do that in Zwift. Uh, sometimes it's just about getting a good workout. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is Cadman Cycling. Bye.